What does a catastrophe property adjuster carry every day? Let's check it out, starting now. This video is brought to you by Kaplik. You need insurance as an adjuster. Learn what you need for free at CPLIC slash adjuster TV. You know, the heart of every adjuster's kit has to be the tape measure. This is a Stanley Fat Max and an old CLC leather holster that I bought the very first day of my very first appointment in Chicago back in 2000, and I used it for my entire career. Leather has been used for thousands of years, and there's a reason why. It is the most durable material and will last longer than any Kevlar or Cordura or really anything else. This tape measure has a plastic body that they should have made out of leather with a 40-foot steel tape. How do I know it's steel? Because aluminum doesn't rust when it gets slightly wet. This tape has a standard tip on it for hooking on corners to get those key siding and roof measurements. Here we've got the second most important piece of gear, and that is a durable camera. This is the Fujifilm XP80 that is shockproof to six feet, which is good for most of the mishaps you'll have dropping stuff in the parking lot, but probably won't help you if you lose it off a roof. We've also got the included lanyard installed. Always put this thing on so that you can drop it if you need hands-free or if you accidentally let go of it. This camera is also waterproof to 80 feet, which hopefully you're not going to need. Next up, we've got the Hag Field Guides printed version, which I prefer for showing insurers and contractors what hail is and what it isn't. And incidentally, Hague Education also sponsors this video. Use code ADJUSTERTV at checkout to get a huge discount on the best adjuster certifications, damage field guides like these, and adjuster tools at HagueEducation.com. There are several versions of this book covering everything from comp shingles to metal to wood and even exteriors. And no adjuster kit would be complete without a pew pew device, which is represented here with my ancient Hilti PD30. This is a pro piece of gear that I bought on Hurricane Ivan back in 2004 to make getting interior dimensions fast and easy, especially when some claims I was working had black mold all over everything. This Hilti has a display that shows you the last four measurements that you zapped, which is perfect for getting room width, room length, and room height. Save time and get more accurate measurements with a laser. You know, a laser is excellent for getting quick measurements in a room or three, but for large interior losses like water and fire, you're gonna need something a bit different to really speed up your inspections and scopes. Run Xactimate Mobile on this device and get measurements and diagrams at exactly the same time using this iPad Pro. And the iPad Pro features a LiDAR camera, which Xactimate Mobile uses to get nearly exact measurements and room diagrams, as well as photos. And you can even use macros to build your estimate right there in the room really negating the need for a written scope sheet. This is truly a game changer. If you ever wanna do large loss hurricane claims or daily work for that matter, this is kind of a non-negotiable piece of gear. Just don't install games on it, you weirdo. This is the Nebo Micro with three brightness levels for its light as well as green and red lights. This thing is small, light, and inexpensive, and a headlamp like this will keep you hands-free for safety and light up those dark corners with ease. Chalk isn't just useful for marking up hail damage on a roof. You can use chalk like this railroad chalk to also mark wind damage and write stuff on the roof. Just don't use it to chalk up vents and other soft metals. Why? Because this covers up the spattering that is the signature of fresh hail damage on metal. Finally, put all this stuff in a durable, easy to carry pouch like the G2 from Bully Bag. It has a main compartment, three closable exterior apartments for gadgets and tools, and a grand total of 15 pockets. And you can wear it either on a belt system or with this badass paddle clip that is just absolutely brilliant. You can also click your tape measure right on here. And since you can zip it up, that makes it easy to toss in the back seat between inspection appointments without everything flying everywhere. You know, depending on the deployment, field property adjusters can carry a lot of different different tools. Let me know what other gear you carry as an adjuster that you just can't live without in the comments below and learn how to make $18,900 in less than three weeks with no experience in this next video.